Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So I thought I'd do a little get ready with me with you guys. Putting a little bit of lip balm. My lips are crazy dry. This is a NARS Orgasm Lip Mask. You guys know by now I always start off with my brows. NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade black. Brows are like something like I need to do, but it's just sometimes it just takes too long. I mean, my bare brow gel does speed things up quite a bit. I actually hate doing this brow with a passion. I'm now going in with my bare brows brow gel just to set these brows in place. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing every day. Okay brows are done, skin's prepped. Guys how is it already February? I know January is usually a slow month for, for a lot of people but I didn't even see it go. I mean I've been ex like extremely busy and I just haven't seen it go by at all. But I have been planning ahead and Mother's Day is right around the corner. It's literally next month already. If you're looking for a really good Mother's Day gift idea, I definitely recommend checking out the Nivea Q10 Power Range. I'll be gifting this to my mum. I put it all in a gift box for her. She literally has everything she needs. You guys already know I love Nivea skincare, especially their SPF. So I think I've gone through so many tubes but the Nivea Q10 range will visibly reduce wrinkles in seven days which is insane. Coenzyme Q10 is naturally produced by our bodies and acts as our skin's own defense to aging. When we start to age which is something that's completely normal it happens to all of us the levels of Q10 produced by our bodies naturally depletes which makes the skin more prone to fine lines and wrinkles. This is where the Q10 range from Nivea comes into play because their Q10 is 100% identical to the Q10 produced by our own skin cells. In my mum's gift box, I got the firming day cream, the revitalizing night cream, serum infused firming sheet mask, the Q10 body lotion and the eye cream as well. If you were to get anything from the range, definitely get the firming day cream. I know my mum's gonna love this. It reduces and prevents wrinkles, specifically three types of wrinkles, forehead wrinkles, crow's feet, cheek and mouth area wrinkles. It also has SPF 15, which is a plus because it's gonna protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays, which causes premature skin aging. It does all of that whilst keeping the skin feeling smooth and nourished and it's good for all skin types. I've put in the revitalizing night cream in there which is gonna help regenerate the skin while she's sleeping. I've added in the serum infused firming sheet mask so she can have a nice pamper. I know for a fact that she will use this. She will get use out of this. It's the firming Q10 plus vitamin C body lotion. This absorbs quickly and intensively moisturizes for 48 hours and this is meant to firm and improve skin elasticity in 10 days. If you wanna get ahead and get your Mother's Day gift sorted, I definitely recommend checking out Nivea's Q10 power range. I feel like any mum would love opening this box right now so I'll leave a link in the info box definitely check out Superdrug and you won't disappoint you will be your mum's favourite. I just want to thank Nivea for sponsoring today's video. Lately I've really been reaching out for the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I used the shade Tan Neutral and it's just really skin like. So I'm just gonna put a few pumps on that. To be honest when it always came to birthdays and special occasions, I always do the gifts last minute and then I start panicking. I don't know what to get, like I run out of ideas. Yeah, I really wanted to share this gift because I genuinely believe this is gonna really be a nice gift for my mom. It'll be something that she uses. She uses Nivea anyways. And if you're struggling to think of what gift to get your mom, you just can't go wrong with skincare. I just feel like that it will let them enjoy the products and also get the benefits out of the products. I mean, can we have a moment for this foundation? Definitely your skin, but better. So yeah, instead of leaving things last minute, I'm glad Mother's Day's gift is done. Concealer, concealer. I think it's gonna be too face born this way. Oh, I need to try some more drugstore concealers. I'm gonna try and do more drugstore content. It's been leading to more high-end products, but I know there's a, there's a lot of bomb drugstore products out there that I haven't tried. So I'm gonna definitely get more of that. So guys, I posted a TikTok of me making chicken curry the other day, and oh my God, the comments are brutal it was on tiktok you guys have probably seen it on my vlog or if not it will be coming soon i'm gonna include it in the vlog but the comments were brutal brutal people weren't happy about the way i make my curry and i just there's so many different versions of curries out there so many people do it in different ways like as long as i'm still alive and i enjoy the food i'm not claiming to be a professional either i just share my life and like i'm being butchered i mean it doesn't get to me but it's just crazy like you can never win with these things, but it's not going to stop me from posting cooking videos. I'm going to go in my e.l.f. putty blush, my fave. 
This is kind of like the everyday look I've been going for lately. I like to change it up because I've got so many products, guys, that I need to get through. As you can tell, I've been obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm blush. I'm gonna just put it like this and I just use my fingers to blend it out. It's just so easy. I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury what is this airbrush flawless finish i feel like i've got enough products to do a full face of charlotte tilbury so maybe that will be coming up soon i'm gonna put a little bit more blush on the apples well at least for me with my skin tone you can go quite heavy-handed on the pinkasm for eyeshadow i'm going to use the anastasia soft glam 2 palette and i'm going to use the shade orange soda which is like the peach i think but i just love going in with shades like this and anytime I wear this shade, like I always get asked like what are you wearing on your lids and stuff. It's just really wearable, but you can tell you've made some effort with your eyes. One thing I am really happy about is um, I'm just using the shade Incense. But yeah, one thing I'm really happy about is that when I go out early in the morning, there's light. It's not dark anymore. I don't know why like the, the weather, like the seasons really affects my mood. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really not doing anything neat here. It's like... Guys, whenever you do your makeup in a rush, it always looks better than when you spend three hours on your makeup. I don't know why. But can you guys see? It's just ever so subtle, but it's just brightened up the eyes. Essence I Love Extreme. How did I live without this stuff for so long? Are any of you guys watching Last of Us, which is based it's a series based off a game? I know a lot of people played it, I didn't personally, but the series is actually really good. I find it very creepy that it could potentially happen. I mean, I wasn't too fond of episode four, like I couldn't like, it was just a bit boring, but the first three were really good. Oh, and I also got the HMB foundation to review for you guys. My reviews is like, I tried my best to put them on for the whole day, so I have to dedicate a whole day for the review. I remember once I reviewed quite a bad foundation and it separated on me quite badly. I went out and about with it and I just don't like doing it. So it's always on a day where I'm at home just in case or I just need to run quick errands. But if I'm going somewhere important, I would not try a new product. No, no, that's a big no, no. I was so obsessed with the glass shine lipsticks that I got another shade and it's called Dewy Peach. It's stunning. Out of all the shades I tried, this one's my favourite by far. I'm going to use the Glow Milk Mist by The Beauty Crop. I mean, can we get a moment for the glow? Anyways, that's my little get ready with me. I've been doing this look so much lately. Like, it's like glam, but it's good for everyday. Like, I'll go Tesco with this look. It's, it's really simple and quick. I legit do this in like 10, 15 minutes. But, um... Yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed. Comment below what products I should review. And don't forget to check out the Nivea Q10 Power Range at Superdrug. I'll leave a link in the info box for you guys. If you do end up getting it for your mum, come back to this video and let me know in the comments what her reaction was. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!